Hey guys, it's Neon for Clownfish TV, and I'm back, and I'm going to talk about the PlayStation Classic. Sony has released the full list of the uh, 20 games that will be included with the PlayStation Classic. Talked about it before. I was pretty excited about it, and you know what? I'm really not as excited about it now because I think it's missing uh, a lot of really classic titles i don't think the lineup is as stellar as uh say nintendo's uh the nes classic and the super nes classic um which had all top shelf uh a plus titles um this is sort of a mixed bag so this is coming from the playstation blog uh announcing playstation classics full lineup of 20 games again the uh, playstation classic is launching on december 3rd now, uh, for all of us at PlayStation, it was so exciting to see the positive response from the community of last month's PlayStation Classic announcement. Yes, I was actually pretty excited. Uh, I still kind of am, but not, not quite as excited as uh, I was before. Today, we're happy to reveal the entire lineup of 20 games that come preloaded on the console when it launches in the U.S. and Canada on December 3rd. We previously highlighted five fan favorites. Yeah, they, they actually picked the best games, or some of the best games. Final Fantasy VII... Uh, uh, Jumping Flash, Ridge Racer Type 4, Tekken 3, and Wild Arms. Here's the full list of titles the fans can now look forward to playing. And some of these I agree with, and some of them I don't agree with. Uh, Battle Arena Toshinden. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, I believe, a launch title, and, uh, you know, it was it was pretty good for its time. Cool Borders 2? Yeah, yeah. Destruction Derby? No, not really. Final Fantasy 7? Absolutely. Grand Theft Auto 1? Absolutely. Intelligent Cube? Uh, no. Jumping Flash is even questionable. Metal Gear Solid absolutely needs to be a part of this. Mr. Driller, uh, no. <laughs> Odd World, Abe's Odyssey, uh, no. Rayman, eh. Resident Evil Director's Cut, yeah, I would agree with this. Um, Persona, yeah, I would agree with this. Ridge Racer Type 4. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. You know, this is a favorite, but I don't, I don't know if... You know, if you've only got 20 games, I don't know if this is one I would include. Siphon Filter, I would not include. Uh, Tekken 3, absolutely. Rainbow Six, eh. Twisted Metal, eh. I actually would have picked Vigilante 8 over Twisted Metal. And uh, Wild Arms was, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, now, here's here's the thing. I would say, you know, if you've only got 20 games, one, I, I would have included more games if they could do it. <laughs> uh, because there were so many great games for the PS1. And they missed... Uh, some of the all-time classics, I'm just really shocked. Um, even going out to just a random list of the best PS1 games of all time, um, you know, yeah, this is the big one for me. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. They did not include Symphony of the Night, greatest Castlevania game ever, in my opinion. One of the greatest 2D games ever, in my opinion, was not included. Uh, Resident Evil 2, while they did get the director's cut, so I will give them a pass there. I do believe that Resident Evil 2 was was better than one. Uh, Metal Gear, thankfully, they included. Final Fantasy IX, you know, they've got seven. I think seven's the most popular Final Fantasy. I think it, it represents um, represents the series very well. I don't think they need any more Final Fantasy titles. If they were going to throw another Final Fantasy on, I would have preferred to have seen uh, Tactics, maybe? Final Fantasy Tactics? Yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I would have taken a Tony Hawk game over Cool Borders. Um, you know, Crash Bandicoot. I mean, what the hell? That was... Crash was... Crash was Sony's mascot for years, and Crash Bandicoot is not on the the Sony PlayStation Classic. Like, how can Crash Bandicoot not be on the system? Uh, Twisted Metal, eh. Final Fantasy VII, we got it. Tomb Raider, again, they've got Tomb Raider 2. How can Tomb Raider not be included uh, in in the uh, the 20 games that you're picking to be representative of, of the PlayStation 1 era? Um huge fail uh for me another one is missing uh Metal well, tekken 3 they did get paul rapper the rapper gran turismo i mean gran turismo is not even is it no gran turismo they picked ridge racer over gran turismo again i think that's kind of a fail um tactics definitely legacy of kane eh, maybe um chrono cross okay so if you're gonna pick a street fighter game if you're gonna pick one street fighter game i love Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Geeky loves Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. She used to play Puzzle Fighter all the time. We're actually really bummed that they pulled the plug on the uh, the iOS version of it. 
But I would have picked the Street Fighter Alpha game <laughs> before I would have picked uh, Puzzle Fighter. So uh, Xeno Gears, too convoluted. Odd World, I was never really a fan. I was never really a fan. Uh, Vagrant Story was awesome. Again, though, it's it's in the Final Fantasy universe. I think they've done everything. Darkstalkers, Final Fantasy VIII. I mean, so many great games. And I understand. I understand. Yes, yeah, Suikoden. I would have actually picking, picked uh, Suikoden over Wild Arms, personally. Wipeout. Um, I mean, so many. Uh, Spyro. Why can't we get a Spyro game? Power Rapid the Rapper. Why Why did we not include Power Rapid? Again, he was another mascot-type character for Sony. So, I, you know, I'm looking at all of the... Klonoa would have been amazing. An amazing choice. Uh, these are these games are not representative of the best that the uh, the uh, PlayStation One era had to offer. If you were going to whittle it down to only twenty games, I would say only half of these. If it was a best of list, only half of these games actually deserve to be on the system. I mean, it's still it's only ninety nine dollars for two controllers, but I'm like half of these games I, I will not play. I'm not going to play Rainbow Six. I'm not going to play Siphon Filter. Uh, definitely not going to play Intelligent Cube. Um, I, I just don't care. Twisted Metal didn't age well. A lot of these games didn't age well. Um, so they've got some real winners, but it's really a mixed bag. I don't know. Um, so my excitement has been lessened a little bit. I, I mean, I'm sure that a lot of the games being left off of here are probably due to rights issues. Uh, you know, maybe they're doing remakes or something. I, I don't know. But I'm kind of disappointed in what they had to offer. I thought it, it, for sure we'd at least get Tomb Raider and Symphony of the Night, uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, Power Rappa. This is just not a greatest hits uh, system. Unlike Nintendo, which releases, you know, it, it's consoles and they have pretty much the best best games that that system had to offer. Um, this just is kind of a Kind of a fail. Kind of a fail for me. So, uh, what are your thoughts? Comment below. Let me know what you think about the lineup. Do you think it's still worth the $99? Are you disappointed or are you excited? Uh, let us know. Mm -hmm.